Hi everyone and welcome to a first look at the ProBuilder 2.0 beta, the first iteration of this. So we've got a couple really neat things added on. Mainly a lot of this update, uh, the 2.0 update is obviously making ProBuilder really much more efficient. We're rebuilding it completely from scratch, ground up uh, in C Sharp instead of JavaScript and various other things. But a big part of it also is the ability to add extra object types. So if you remember, uh, as I've said a lot of times, I think ProBuilder is really very much inspired by Hammer. It's doing the best we can to be a complete ripoff, actually, in a lot of ways um, of the good parts, and then adding in all the great bits of Unity where it's just super, super easy to use an intuitive workflow. So one of the best things about Hammer's implementation of this, uh, the BSP style building or whatnot, is that you can build special objects like stairs, cylinders, arches, all sorts of nice things, and edit them uh, as you create them, kind of like you would in a 3D package. So now we have that ability. So if I go ahead and let's just delete these actually. So in the beta, you can go up to Window, Pro Builder, down to the Pro Builder Custom Geometry Interface. And as it mentions here, this feature is largely untested, yada yada. You can even build yourself your entire own object if you, uh, if you have the maths for that. Um, otherwise, we have a couple pre-built ready for you. There's stairs and the cylinder. So for a cylinder, just add in a radius, the divisions, which is basically the smoothing on it. So let's go with 16 and a height, whatever you want. And click on build and it builds it up for you. So we have that. Uh, obviously you can't see through the normals on the back face and there's no top and bottom capping yet. So, you know, beta, but it's coming together. Looks like there might be some math on the edges too, but no big deal. Probably more fun is the stairs. So under the stairs option here, you can set the steps, the width, height, and the depth of them all, and whether or not to extend the floor and generate a back. Build that, and there you have it. So if we wanted to make this something a little more, yeah, let's go with that. And there we have instantly created some nice stairs and cylinders. Very simple to do. So a lot easier than building it individually. Speaking of individually though, one other thing that's being implemented of course is the keyboard shortcuts which was really missing from uh, Pro Builder 1. etc. up to before this this 2.0. So now uh, just first one simple control K drops in a Pro Builder object, just a simple cube. And we'll be adding in uh, shortcuts for everything, 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 so it'll be much faster to use. Uh, very handy. Along with making things faster to use and easier, you no longer have to go into the special edit modes and all that fancy stuff. Just select any object, any Pro Builder object, click on a face, and you're already editing it, just like that. And then you can deselect it and do whatever you would like to do in Unity. Once you need to edit again, select it, Grab a face and move it as you want. Probably not like that, you'll have problems. There we go. So forth. So very, very simple to use. Again, really working for the, the technical aspects of Hammer, all the great things you could do with that, and then the ease of use and intuitive workflow, a super fast. Uh, the core of Unity that makes it so easy to use for artists and programmers alike. So adding in both of those. Lastly, something you've probably noticed here already is each of these objects is no longer a whole pile of different uh, singular plane meshes. It's now one single mesh that when you edit, you're editing the shared verts in there. There's not just a single plane for each one. So it's going to really be a lot more efficient draw call wise, of course. Also, what will be included with this eventually is the ability to basically create groups of objects that will merge down into one single draw call, as long as they all have the same material, um, or one single object, I should say, uh, whenever uh, on build or on run, so that you don't have to destroy your ProBuilder objects, but you can make sort of compound objects without losing any editability, but saving a lot, a lot of performance on that. So that's a quick look at what we have set up. Obviously a little rough at the moment, but lots of great things coming together and it's on its way. So thanks for watching. Hope you like.